Hey, so what's going on everybody? So this video, I want to show you guys how to unroot your device, flash your stock, and then perform an OEM lock, which relocks it. That puts you back to factory state, puts everything back to normal on your device. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is open up your Nexus Root Toolkit. And again, make sure that you guys, you know, at this point, at this point, you should have already had the toolkit downloaded. You should, you know, be already rooted. You should have the bootloader unlocked. Everything should be where I'm at on this screen. You should be at least this far. So like I said, this is just going to show you how to put everything back to normal. Um, first thing you want to do then is open up the Nexus Root Toolkit. Make sure you save and back up anything you've done since then on your tablet. Documents, files, pictures, music, back everything up just to be on the safe side. Um, go ahead and open that up and then connect your cable your USB cable. Give it just a minute there. So over here in the Nexus Root Toolkit it says flash stock and unroot. Just make sure it's set as devices on and normal connected to your PC. Go ahead and click that. Of course we are unlocked so we're gonna ho go ahead and click OK. And then Wi-Fi tablet factory images. I'm going to make sure. Now this is the exact one for my tablet. So it just all it does here, your choices automatically download and extracts the factory image. Click OK. Again, what you're watching is a video on how to unroot and I'm flashing the original factory firmware and then we're going to lock the bootloader again which means you're completely back to um, a state where you could turn your tablet in for warranty repair or anything like that so it completely puts you back to factory condition and right now the tablet is rooted but it is going through the process right now of unrooting this is an absolutely fabulous toolkit. It just keeps getting better. I love it. You should be able to do this with your Galaxy Nexus, with your Nexus 5 phone, with the Nexus 4, and more than likely the new Nexus 6 that's supposed to be coming out here I think October 31st maybe not sure not 100% certain on that so it's just downloading it tells you complete it'll do a hash check it says match extracting the image initiating the flash see when it checks ADB status if it says you know can't detect and you run into some issues there if you simply unplug your just unplug your USB cable right down here and plug it back in that'll probably correct the issue so give it a you know if you run into a bug with it or you have some issues there just let it redetect the tablet unplug it plug it back in Flashing stock will factory reset the device. It says here make sure to back up everything first. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK and it's going to open up a uh, command window and start the flash stock and unroot process. I'm still in an unlock state down here but that will be the very last thing that I do. And disregard those things that say contain boot.sig, recovery.sig. That really doesn't apply. It doesn't mean anything it's not going to hurt nothing it's perfectly fine just disregard all that and then you just have to sit and wait gosh this program just rocks this is awesome you just sit back click OK and it does everything for you 
Can't beat that. Love it. All the things that it has to do there. Sends the recovery, rights recovery, racist system, sending system, right system. Lots of stuff going on. Erasing user data, sending user data. You just have to sit and wait for this. It's not too bad. And you can see the tablet starting up and restarting. Okay, so I'm still in an unlock state. So I'm just going to go ahead and press any key to exit the command window. Sometimes it's possible that flashing stock will cause your device to incorrectly display your available internal storage. Here's something important. To fix it and make sure everything's good, it's recommended to perform a factor reset now on your device. And then it tells you exactly how to do that, and that's really easy to do. And that's pretty awesome that, that they at least let you know that too. If you guys can, I would donate to these guys. I would love to. I may do it later, but this is a wonderful program, again. So I'm just letting the tablet go ahead and boot back up here. Now when you go to relock your tablet after flashing stock, use this to fully return to factory settings. Once we lock it, that actually does not wipe the tablet out. The only time is when you unlock your bootloader as opposed to relocking it. So when you unlock the bootloader in the beginning, it wipes out all the data and you need to back everything up. That's kind of when you first start the whole process. Then you go to root your device. Then you can go back to stock and then you can OEM lock. So let me log back in here real quick. We got one more thing left to do, OEM lock, which is going to lock the bootloader, and we'll be all back to factory settings, just like you guys got this thing out of the box. So a couple more things I have to do here to get to my desktop screen. Punch in my name. Setup is complete. So now we're back here at the desktop. Okay. Now what you have to do is go back in and you have to turn on USB debugging again. Go to settings. You want to enable your developer options. It's not listed here between printing and about tablet. So go to about tablet. Click that about seven times or so. It'll say you're now a developer. Click back. Now you'll see your developer options. They're usually on by default. Come down where it says USB debug mode. Click that, tell it OK. You get some prompts up here. There's the RSA key fingerprint again. Check mark to always allow from this computer. Click OK. Go back to your home screen. Now what you guys want to do is come back to your desktop screen and click OEM lock. And it tells you what to do there. And we just click OK and it'll go through and check ADB status. If you don't go through and do some of those things like enable USB debugging mode, I'm showing you how to do this so you don't have a lot of trouble with it. The lock state down here says unlocked right now. I know it's hard to see. My camera's not the best. Let me see if I can move that up on the screen. And you can see maybe it'll change to locked. There it goes, locked. So it changed to a lock state. Your device should now be relocked, which it is. Click OK, rebooting. We should be able to boot right back to our desktop now and be all good to go.
because like I said, when you OEM lock, it does not wipe the data out. Now, as long as you have a good functioning computer, you don't have a lot of issues, your USB ports are good, you follow all these instructions carefully, you know, everything is included right here in this Nexus Root Toolkit. It's absolutely awesome. So there you go, guys. Everything here is back 100% to factory. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and go check out this awesome website, Wugfresh. These guys are awesome. And thank you for watching my video, and you guys have a great one.